Hi everyone, thank you for tuning back into Aaron Meets World. Uh, in the last week or so, I actually ended up picking up a couple extra Hot Toys figures that I wasn't expecting to find and adding them to my collection. And they're actually sitting right behind me. The two new figures are the Hot Toys A New Hope Luke Skywalker and A New Hope Princess Leia. I had skipped those figures when they first came out. I had just started collecting around that time frame and I just didn't have a lot of money at the time so I was picking up one figure every three or four months as opposed to one or two a month or at least pre-ordering one or two a month as it seems to be these days but when I passed them up and especially the Princess Leia the day Carrie Fisher died it sold out on Sideshow right away, and then ridiculous prices were all you would see. So I never thought I would get my hands, especially on the Princess Leia, but Luke Skywalker was also trending pretty high. And if you don't know me very well, I don't tend to pay outrageous prices for my Hot Toys figures. If I can't get it at a reasonable price within 50 to $60 more than the original retail price at most, I usually just pass on it and go, eh, I missed it. But I, since returning from Galaxy's Edge, I was like, eh, I kind of kind of want to get Luke Skywalker, especially since they're doing a new release of the Empire Strikes Back version, and I already have the Return of the Jedi version. It would be cool to have the A New Hope version to have all three of the Luke Skywalkers. And I went searching for him and actually got a really good deal. I think I actually ended up paying less than the original list price once you would have included tax and shipping and all that and then right after that i found a really good deal on the princess leia uh, definitely not as good a deal as the luke but certainly very reasonable compared to ebay prices so anyways the focus of this particular episode is on the princess leia figure and she is actually the simpler of the two. She doesn't really come with any accessories. Uh, both of their outfits are pretty simple, uh, but she mainly just comes with a few extra hands, a stormtrooper blaster, and then her kind of thin long necked blaster from the very beginning of A New Hope that she uses to send out those spiral stun rays at the stormtrooper. And I think she's a very beautiful figure. The, the costumes for A New Hope, as you all know, were very simple just because there was a really low budget. It was the first one and that's just how it was. So I wasn't expecting a whole lot when it came to the costumes on the Hot Toys figures. They're faithfully recreated. They're very well done. I lift it, her arms up here. You can see the belt underneath, which looks just like the one in the movie. I don't really recall what her shoes looked like in the movie, but these look perfectly fine. Uh, depending on how you have her standing, she does have visible joints underneath. So you do kind of want to have her in a kind of reserve stance, but Honestly, she wasn't doing anything pretty crazy in this movie either. So as long as you have her doing something true to the film, she's going to look great. But the, the main standout part of this is, of course, the head sculpt. And even with this being a figure that was announced in 2015 and I think came out in 2016, if my memory serves correctly, it could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything being released today. In fact, compared to some things released today, it may actually be a little bit better. It's definitely a spot-on Carrie Fisher likeness and really fits what she looked like in A New Hope. I also do have the Hoff Leia, and I feel like between those two movies, Princess Leia, even in the face, looked very visibly different, and I felt like the Hoff Leia really captured that well, and this captures the New Hope Leia very well. And if you were to swap heads, you know, aside from hairstyles being different, I don't think you'd be able to mistake one from the other because 
whatever between those movies happened with her face that made her look different from one to the other. Maybe it was just makeup or something. It definitely captures that and you wouldn't mistake the two. So as far as this figure goes, its retail price at the time it came out, I think maxed out at around $220. And it's definitely worth that price. And for being such a great piece to have in a collection, such a rare piece, but such a vital piece, I'm very happy I got it. I didn't think I would own, especially the Princess Leia. So I'm thrilled to have it in my collection. And I, I know it's an older figure, so, you know, it's not one that a lot of people are going to be able to find. But if you can find it and if you can get a reasonable price for it, it's one you shouldn't pass on because it will really make an A New Hope display feel much more complete. And I feel a lot better now about trying to dive in and possibly pick up the Han and Chewie and maybe even like a Sand Trooper and some other figures from around A New Hope because I was able to get this one and so I feel like I'd be able to get more of a complete set. While if I hadn't gone Leia, I'm not sure I would have wanted to try to dive in and get Han and Chewie. Luke would have been one thing and I already had Obi-Wan Kenobi that was actually the second Hot Toys figure I ever got was the A New Hope Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I may do a spotlight review on at some point, but the next one will probably be the A New Hope Luke, which comes with a lot more accessories. So that one uh, ha has a lot more to review, although I don't know that you would want to display him with a lot of the extra accessories because some of them were from deleted scenes, so you don't even see them in a New Hope. I feel like this is the way you would see him. So that's how I have him now. Uh, and then this is the Force Awakens R2-D2 right here, which uh, I'm still waiting for a C-3PO, an original trilogy C-3PO. I'm starting to get a little impatient to the point where I'm thinking about the Sideshow one, but I'd much prefer to just get a Hot Toys C-3PO. So I hope that's coming. But anyways, for those of you the, that have the A New Hope Princess Leia, what do you guys think? Those of you that don't, do you have any questions about it? And as always, if you like this video, please like and please subscribe because I do have several more Star Wars oriented videos coming, especially based around Galaxy's Edge. And then, like I mentioned in my last video, I am prepping to do a Sideshow gift card giveaway. And I don't have all the details for that worked out just yet, but you will have to be a subscriber and it does, and it will help if you like videos and if you share my videos. Uh, but at the very least, if you're interested in possibly winning a Sideshow gift card, subscribe uh, to be able to win. So anyways, thank you for, for, thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time. Have a good night.